Well, that was dramatic. Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one, coming to you from the studio in plush, sultry East Texas. A very special welcome goes out to the newer subscribers to this channel. About 9,000 people have come on board in the past five months, and we are glad you're here. Now we've surpassed 95,000 subscribers, folks, and that's great news. Now, I do run this channel, but it belongs to everyone. You are responsible for its longevity, and if you're here, you're doing a fantastic job. Now, our goal is to present evidence that everyone can see. Evidence to the fact that Mars once had a thriving civilization. There was a genocide. And these rovers, sent by NASA and now China, are surveying the ruins. Now, these images, thousands and thousands of them, are altered, most likely through an automated process, disguising the majority of things that appear as being of an artificial nature. Now, we have found that, though they're of a lesser resolution, the navigational and hazard camera imagery provide some of the clearest, less adulterated imagery. Now, they hide an arbitrary 98% of the truth from us. So that 2% is of what we are in search. Uh, this is Rover Curiosity nav cam imagery from Sol 3642, a mosaic. And that suggests a structural foundation. And we can blame a healthy imagination, but you know, this thing really sits here with a sphinx-like feel to it, to me. You know, it wasn't until 1817 that the first serious archeological dig took place on the Great Sphinx of Giza. Uh, these are some of the earliest images ever taken of the Great Sphinx. And I bet we could throw this into a Mars evidence video, minus the humans and camels, of course, and someone would comment that these are natural layers of sediment that I need a lesson in geology. Okay, so we don't know if that's the remnants of a Sphinx-type creation, but we do see a foundation behind it, and we also know this. Yeah, yeah, I'll spare you here. Bottom line is, from here to here produces a height of 57 feet, or 17 and a half meters. And depending on who you ask and what country and as to what style building, we're talking about five and a half stories. Now, the rover is sitting about 90 yards away from all of that at this juncture. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I bet you think I'm going to claim that's a pyramid. Well, it is shaped like one, and we've seen similar on Mars, like this on Sol 1450. Okay, but wait. Remind me, is this geology, geography, or archaeology that's required here? I am getting confused. Okay, but just because it's shaped like a pyramid doesn't mean it's a, quote, pyramid of artificial construct like those in Egypt. Oh, we don't see blocks here. Okay, as for measurements, we've only been able to measure in this area as this pyramidal is a, a good distance from the rover. So it's not that easy to be precise. However, we are close enough here to safely say that this thing is around 60 feet in height. That's right, about six stories. Okay, let's back up and take a context look at this. Again, this mosaic is from Sol 3642, and a caveat here. That's right, we use fancy words here in East Texas. Now, this mosaic is a 360 degree cylindrical image, okay? So, what that means is it's turning a complete circle. So, things aren't in a straight line. You know how that works. You've done that with your cell phone. Now, this is yet another 360 mosaic from Sol 3609 this time, start taking notice of the features of some of these other formations. Now back to the pyramid, and let's just call it that for the sake of reference, regardless. And something is going on right here, folks. I tell you what, let's look at all that again with an aggressive contrast filter applied. Okay, let's break this down right here, right now. Now, I really, really, really should not have to say it, but those aren't rocks, folks. If your ego and pride is getting in the way of realizing this, it's time to ditch all that, man. Come on. So now, what about this gigantic mountainous rise back here? Do you think this is a natural formation? A mountain? Is this geology? Archaeology? Are you seeing my point with this? Somebody with some authority in the matter, in the subject 
of geology needs to speak up about this. They need to really look at this and not be afraid to speak up. Predisposed ideas are really hurting people. You think this cannot be. Well, it can. It is. Fire on the mountain, run, boys, run. Devil's in the house of the rising sun. Chicken in the bread pan, picking out dough. Granny does your dog bite. No child, no. Listen to me, y'all. This is being thrown right in our faces, folks. And people don't care. I don't trust any of this as being completely natural, even along here. But let's keep going, please. Yeah, that. Now, it's sitting 230 yards from the rover. The elevation difference or height from points 3 to 4 is 39 meters, 43 yards, 129 feet. So, am I saying this is more than just a mountain with a bad haircut? Yep. The colors you are seeing are not accurate, of course. But in an attempt to make sense of just what we're looking at here, areas that seem to connect to one another are given similar coloring. Let me know what you think, folks, about all of it. And we'll see you real soon.